Hi everyone, welcome from a cold, wet and windy dub for our featured games between the under-15s of Linfield and St Oliver Plunkett. Generally, when these two get together, expect lots of action and, of course, plenty of goals. Oliver Plunkett and Black got us underway, the Blues defending the goal to our right and their traditional strip of blue. First goal of the game was to come in the seventh minute when an injection of pace from the Linfield number 10, Charlie Allen, who would cross into the box and find the head of Kane Storey. Linfield won, Plunkett nil. Three minutes later it was pretty much as you were. Linfield were to find more success on the right, more running, more one-touch passing between Allen and dare I say it, yep, the same old story. Linfield were to get a second goal. Linfield 2, Plunkett nil. Now given the possession, the passing and the quality of the Linfield goals, you may think the Blues had this one in the bag. Not so. Coach Les Johnson brought a determined side to face Linfield and Oliver Plunkett were certainly not going to lie down. A through pass from Liam Carr was to find number five, Sean Stewart. His first effort was saved by Billy McDowell, but Stewart's sublime second effort nestled in the back of the net. 2-1. Then after Linfield tried to play out from the back, Plunkett intercepted. And the ball then headed forward, Colin Duffy took to the stage and would probably be a goal and a firm contender for goal of the month. Watch this. Take a bow, son. Well, all the signs were that Plunkett were gritting their teeth for their neutral supporter. This was turning out to be a real cracker of a game. If you thought the first half was good, stand by for more of the second. A dreadful Linfield goal kick found the head of the Plunkett number 10, Liam Carr. Carr at point blank range, managed to head the ball to Matthew Mains. And slotted home from close range. Plunkett from 2 0 down were now in command. Hey, we don't stop. Stay disciplined. Hey. And from a Linfield free kick, the Blues were almost back in the game. Kyle Flynn passed to number eight, Kanati, who linked up well with Charlie Allen and Joshua Archer. Almost level for the Blues. The cross coming across from Allen. <laughs> Linfield were, however, to equalise this time from a corner kick on the right. It was Kane Storey the provider. Kanati was not going to miss this time. The Plunkett keeper given no chance. 3-3. What a game. The way both sides had acquitted themselves. Credit to both teams and the coaching staff. And a draw would possibly have been a fair result. Or did Linfield have something else in mind? Despite encouragement from the sideline, a final Linfield surge. And a through ball from Ross McCausland for a number 18 Kane Storey. And there one 1-2 was always going to find the net. Charlie Allen. Back on the score sheet in the 70th minute. Fair play to both sides, the game finishing. Linfield 4, St Oliver Plunkett 3. Yes, we are, I thought. Uh, the first 20 minutes, I thought we were the better side. We started off like a house on fire. And then we let Oliver, Oliver Plunkett in the last 10 minutes of the first half. Good battle and match, good performance. Very difficult conditions. Well, I think both teams, under those conditions, played very well. Both teams tried to play a bit of football. First half we had the winner back. Don't like really playing with the wind. Uh, second half they were sort of going long ball, going trying to hit over our small keeper, Billy. Yeah, I think it was, it's, it's always always a, a tough one to take when you, you lose a late goal. But um, to be fair to Linfield, I think the last 10, 15 minutes of the match, their fitness shone through. You know, it's one of the things we've been talking to, to our team with. We need to get the 70 minutes of fitness and concentration and a few injuries um, that we had the key players in the second half. Um, sort of told in the end, I think. Um, then Field really lifted the game, put us under a lot of pressure in the last 10 minutes. Our fitness dropped, which really means our concentration levels dropped a wee bit, and we just give, give a couple of sort of sloppy goals away in the end, you know. 